Hello! Today we are going to talk about nanotechnology, the amazingly small and increasingly omnipresent field of technology that exists in many of the products you use every single day. When people consider the word nanotechnology, they tend to focus on nano, and due to clever advertising and a general lack of knowledge about the metric system, when many people think of nano, they visualize this. And while the iPod Nano is a useful item, it is 10 million times larger than an actual nanometer. So it's time for how small, really, is a nanometer. A nanometer is 10 to the negative ninth meters, which means that for every meter, there are 1 billion nanometers, which is a number that is almost impossible to wrap your mind around and certainly a scale that is quite difficult to visualize. So let's try to put it into perspective. Imagine this nanoparticle, a carbon nanotube. They can range drastically in lengths, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's imagine that the nanotube is one nanometer wide and five centimeters long. If we look at this chart of the metric scale, we see that the centimeter is seven orders of magnitude or 10 million times larger than the nanometer. So if we were to take this nanotube and expand it such that the base was one centimeter wide, something much easier to visualize, the length would be multiplied by seven orders of magnitude. Take the 5 centimeter length and multiply it by 7 orders of magnitude and you'll get about 50 million centimeters, which is roughly the width of the state of New York. But let's try a different perspective. It's not difficult to argue that human hair is remarkably small. At about 0.4 millimeters, hair can be difficult to see with the human eye. Relative to the size of the hair, however, an object in the nanoscale would look like this. See it? No. The truth is that within a single strand of hair, one could fit 40,000 nanometers. At 10 to the negative ninth meters, the nanometer is of the same size as human DNA. And until a few decades ago, the scale of nanoscience was too small to truly manipulate. But with modern technology, science has finally expanded into a frontier that, we can all agree, is almost impossible to visualize.